Hey guys, it's the Swell Cloth here and today and so is some monster analysis video. We're going to be going over Cobborg and I'm going to tell you guys whether or not he is worth money out of the current bounty hunt event. So let's go ahead and gear. I didn't do it. Alright, so Cobborg is an attacker and his traits are stun immunity and fugitive hater, and then blind immunity at rank one and rank three he gets cooldown protection. Those are really bad traits. None of those are really too good, honestly. So ranking him up does not really matter. And then his relics are sword and sword, which are alright. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, his pros are remove shields before damage, which is pretty cool. He has the second highest power stat in the Alpine Era, which is really good. He also has a mostly low cooldowns and stamina cost. And then his cons are only one torture in shock, forcing him to rely on raw damage, which is kind of annoying. He also has a low life, bland move pool, situational trade, awful relics, and dark and the light meta. Honestly, I don't think his relics are that bad, but yeah, you definitely can't regain stamina with them. So that is definitely annoying. Then if we go on down to his uh, moveset, he has a shield break and shock, which is all right. And then he also has an AoE 30 dark damage with a zero cooldown. He's got a shock with zero cooldown. He has a self double damage with some damage, which is pretty cool with one cooldown. Then he has a 70 dark damage. He also has a 70 thunder damage and he has an AoE shield removal with shock. And then he has an AoE shield removal with dark damage and self triple damage, which is a very good move. That is definitely his best move. So yeah, he does have some pretty good moves especially this one right here the self triple damage and he also does have his self double damage so he can damage boost himself which is amazing and that will make him really good for bounty hunts in my opinion and he does have some pretty high damaging moves as well but yeah he doesn't have many status effects at all he only has shock i think and he only has it on a couple moves but at least he does have an aoe so yeah decent monster he seems okay i don't think he's worth money so don't go ahead and buy him he's not really worth your money especially since he'll cost like 40 dollars and that is not worth it at all so yeah don't really bother with this monster let me know down in the comments if you guys think differently though and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye